what's up everyone bloody hatchets here again and I am going to be doing a tutorial on this tic-tac-toe game here I'm gonna make this as easy as possible I know it looks really complicated let's go ahead and jump into this alright first thing you need to do is get a 5 by 5 little area like this and put sticky pistons facing just like this alright now once you have this I went ahead and took out the back blocks I had there go ahead and put block of choice five of them directly up under the pistons like this and then get another block of choice and go out like this and make it a two by five little platform just like that and then take out your redstone repeaters and place all five of them going straight into that block like that then take your block and go up just like that and do the same thing for over here and go ahead and add two blocks right there and then place your redstone two pieces here and the same over here and then put three pieces just like that okay so go ahead and put two blocks here two blocks here and you see it cut this current off from going up there that's what you want so make sure you cut that current off put two blocks there two blocks there do just like that put a block here and then put three more right here alright now I'll go ahead and put a block here come up put two here same thing over here like that and add a block here and then go ahead and put your redstone all right here and make it go up here and here and put one piece here as well okay I'll go ahead and put a block like that same thing over here and then put a repeater going into that block on both sides and then go ahead and add two more repeaters right here and right here next put a block right here and right here and then two more there and then a piece of redstone dust here and here now put three blocks here three blocks here redstone here redstone here now I'll go down here and come up one two then one block here and then two on this side
Alright, so now, add a block here, like that, and go on this one, come out one, and then one down like this, and then put redstone across here and here, and then come down here and attach this redstone coming up. Put a block here and then put a redstone repeater here. Alright, so this block here that's coming out. Go up one like this. And add two more blocks to it. So it's a total of three there. Put a redstone repeater facing that away. Then come up one block like this then come down one block like that there and then go up one and then back down like this okay now go ahead and put redstone on top of here and this block right here you need to come up one and have two blocks like this here I'm trying to make this easy as possible for you guys I know it gets a little confusing so once you have that go up one block like this and then come up one more block like this and then go ahead and put your redstone on top of here alright so this, right here where this repeater is out of block right, right there and then come up one same for this side like that and then right here where this piston is you'll need to go up one like this and then inwards one so it'll be like that there and do the same thing for this side just like that and then it'll be total of four, so that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. Add one here, one here. Then put a redstone torch here, redstone torch here, redstone torch here, redstone torch here. Redstone torch here. And then put four pieces of redstone dust here and then one two three four well, five pieces my bad five pieces of redstone dust on both sides just like that so this is what you should have so far and then put one two three pieces of redstone dust right there just like that Okay, so right here you see this redstone dust is connected to this one. You don't want that to happen. So you need to put a block here to cut that off. So as you see, it's connected now, so you need to put a block here like that. I'm trying to make this simple as possible again for you. Okay, so right here you need to go up one like this place a redstone torch on top of that and then put three pieces of block there and then three pieces of redstone like this alright once you have that guys go ahead and go down one 
two blocks there, be like this, then put three repeaters facing that way, going into this block like this, and then put three redstone torches right here. Alright, now go to the front here where the pistons are, and you'll need to take out four of these. So, one, two, three, and four. So, it should look just like this. And let's go ahead and test this out. Put a lever right here. Power the lever. It should make an X, just like this. If you don't have that, then you've done something wrong somewhere. Let's get rid of that lever. And right here where this repeater is, place a block here, put a lever there, power that one, and this should make a circle. Again, if you don't have this, then you've done something wrong somewhere. So go ahead and get rid of that. Alright guys. Now it's time to do the locking system. Quite simple. So put a block here and go up one and then go down one like that. Add three blocks. Alright guys, so now it's time to do the locking system. It's quite simple. So add a block here, go up one, and then go down one. And you need to come out five, so that's one there. Two, three, four, five. Alright, so this block here that you have here, go out one more, and then one up diagonal, and then diagonal again this way. Go three right here. Add another block there. And then put a sticky piston right here. And I'll be using red wool here just to simulate what's going to happen. This block, this red block is going to cut this redstone current off. And that will be some of the locking system. So go ahead and put your redstone down here and put some up here connected to that piston just like that alright so this block right here what you need to do is place one up diagonal just like that place another one there another one there and one more there well, I'm going to go ahead and put red wool right here. Because that, this one here is going to go down and cut this one off. And then go ahead and put a temporary block right here. Because you're going to have to put a sticky piston facing down. Facing into the red block there. Like this. You see it's facing down. So put the block there. And then go ahead and put your redstone dust up here. So what happens is, guys, is when this one gets powered, it will power the, the pistons out there to make the X. But also, the current will go up into this piston and it will cut off the other current for the circles. So, let me show you on this side, if I activate this for the circles, the current will go out that way to make the circle, and it'll also come up here and activate this piston, and it'll cut this one off. So, if somebody else tried to do it, see the current don't go through because it's cut off. So, that's the locking system. Now, all you need to do is go ahead and hook it up to the buttons. Okay, so before you hook this up to the, the levers, the buttons up that way, I 
suggest you to go ahead and make sure that you have all the spacings done on this so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this here and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and map this out for you guys because this that you built here you're gonna have to do the same exact thing everything the same it just you gonna have to do it eight more times as you see here so that green one there is that white one there that we just did so you're gonna have to make two more on the bottom and then three and then another set of three to make nine I know it's tedious and there's a lot to it but it's really neat to have in your world so again everything you did here you're gonna have to do eight more times and I'll go ahead and map it out for you guys and show you the spacings and the dimensions of everything so I'll be right back okay so the bottom going from left to right is 21 blocks wide and from the bottom to the top is 28 blocks tall okay so I'm gonna explain a little bit on the dimensions and spacings here real fast so right here you got the first grid that we did here and I went ahead and did the eight others and went ahead and spaced them out the diamond block here represents the spacing in between each one so let me go down here on this one so you can kind of see what I'm talking about so right there was is diamond block is on that one and right here is diamond block right here so there's a spacing of one in between each one of them that way you know you, your redstone won't run into each other and the top here has got a redstone torch so you need to have a spacing of one two three like that three blocks because if you don't then this redstone torch will be messing with other stuff above it so make sure you got that fixed and let me go ahead and show you how to do the rest of the wiring alright so I'm inside of here and I'm going to show you how to do this real fast so there's three here three here and three here and notice that there's a block here and here in between each of them and that they're coordinated to to these colors here and here's the back of it so as you see the colors are all coordinated still and they come out running into the grid here now I know I keep saying this but it's very important if you keep your colors coordinated then you can understand where all the wiring goes for example this orange here one orange goes that way and the other orange goes that way you see what I'm saying so that helps out a whole lot of doing the wiring to the switches okay so I went ahead and made the levers where they go and this is how it should look three colors black three colors black or just space in between there and I can't stress it enough make sure that you have the colors where they go for example the bottom left one here is red orange then white so as you see there there's red there's orange and then there's white over here the same thing red orange white and then green yellow blue so green there yellow there blue there and so on so just make sure you have them in the correct spot and now I'm going to show you just quickly how to wire this up is really simple okay so for those that don't know about doing this here so this will show you really fast so when this is activated this redstone will be activated 
Okay, so for this one, the orange, if you used to put orange here and just come out like this, the redstone would be connected. You don't want that to happen. So what you need to do to correct that is you can put a redstone repeater right there, just like that. Put another one down, and you can go up from there and put a redstone dust on top of that. So if you was to flick the orange, this will be activated. So when you go to put this here, it won't be interfering with this. So with the red, you could just come out like this if you wanted to. So we put the red here, activate the red, you see it's activated. Very simple. Now with the blue, you could come out like that there, put the redstone down, and you see this orange right here, you don't want it connecting to it. So simply just come out one, like this. And there you go. So go ahead and test that out. It's activated. So the yellow. If you was to put yellow there, yellow there, it would be interfering with this here and this here. You don't want that to happen. So you can put that there, like that. And then you can come up one, like this. And if this happens, all you need to do is you can place a block on top of that to cut it off. Really simple, guys. If you think too hard about it, it can get complicated. So there you go. Now with the green, you just come out just like you did the red. Now I'm not going to do the top three because it's pretty much the same thing, guys. Pretty much the same thing. Just make sure that you do it like I did it and you shouldn't have any problems. Now, one more thing. This redstone will only go so far. See the particles right here? You see the particles? That means it's activated. No particles here because it's not activated. So to fix that, make sure that you put plenty of redstone repeaters down. I just eyeball it like this here and just place them here and there. Just like this. Because if you don't have the redstone repeaters down, or not enough of them, then your current will not flow the whole way there and make sure you don't put too many down as well alright so you see that X is activated down there you go flick this that's what you want so do the same exact thing for the circles so this here is where the circles come in. So make sure you put a repeater right there. Very important, guys. Or you can just go ahead and put the repeater right here. Just to be on the safe side. Run your redstone. Repeater. I'll just go ahead and put the repeaters down before I do the redstone. And I've been doing this long enough to where I can kind of eyeball it. Alright, so let's try this out. Run the redstone here. Again, trying to keep this simple for you guys. Hopefully you like the video. I'm really working hard on this one. So run this down here. And let's go ahead and
deactivate that. I flip all these up here so it don't confuse me. Alright, so that's deactivated. And let's go ahead and activate the circles. There you go. Circle is done. X is done. So hopefully you guys liked the video. And if any of you are confused about any of this, please leave a comment down below. And I can make a second video on this explaining more about it. But I've tried my hardest on this one. So hopefully, again, you liked the video. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I made this one for my 100 subscribers special. So, again, thank you so much for all of you subscribing to me. It means so much to me. Please hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time.